What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BmanX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a hobby news for the new set of the Digimon TCG, uh, EX5 it is now, the extra set, uh, Animal Coliseum is coming out in January, January 19th I believe is the date, which is just a month before the release of BT15. Get so high, you just forget the numbers. But anyways, so we're going to talk about all the new cool points that they have in here for Animal Coliseum. The announcement just dropped yesterday. Uh, and hey, if you enjoyed this type of content, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Introducing Animal Coliseum. The beast gladiators gather in the Coliseum. To, uh, Battle for Destiny is about to begin. Introducing the seven main points. They love these, these points. They love these. They even got like a scroll point for the points. They love these. Uh, the four sovereign and devas come together. Protectors of the digital world. The four sovereigns are now ace cards. The devas which serve the four sovereigns also make their debut. We've had some um, deva cards come out before. But a lot of them this is the first time. We've also had the the sovereigns before. Plus uh, we've had Azulangmon as one of the four great dragons. Um, so we got Ebon Ibon Ace, um, Bio Human Ace. We're not going to go into the effects because we're going to do a video overhaul of the card list at some point. Um, I like the dual color. So green, purple, black, yellow. I love black, yellow. Black, yellow is kind of a cool combination all the time. Um, and then they each got three Devas um, in, in one of their colors. So green, black, um, I don't believe any of these guys have a card, but I could be wrong. I, I know which guy does. Sandiramon, I believe, has a print already. I think it's purple. Um, I don't think any of the other guys do, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know Majiramon has at least one other copy. and Sorry. Mahiramon has one other copy in green. And Tilamon has a lot. And uh, Majiramon actually has one as a, as a rare or super from one of the older sets. Um, of course, you got blue, yellow, and red, purple, so covering all your colors, basically. Uh, Biohuman, uh, Zuchaomon, and Azulongmon, the main man. And now, standing above them all, uh, the four sovereigns, Fang Longmon, uh, finally appears in, as a Digimon card. Fang Longmon, level 7. Uh, so it digivolves from a sovereign for a cost of 4 instead of 6. That's cool. And he's going to be your secret from the set, one of your secrets anyways. Um, um, the main characters from the console games, Digimon Story, are also here. Uh, Ko and Sayo and Sayo. Oh. Ko and Sayo. Sayo and Ko. <laughs> that's kind of funny. This, and Lunamon, uh, Coronamon, so like Sun and Moon. So that's kind of the Light Fang and Night Claw teams. Interesting. Uh, DNA Digivolve with... Apollomon and Dianamon, so we're getting a new Apollomon, or you know, I'm thinking of Marsmon. Uh, these are the first times we're getting Apollomon and Dianamon, so we're getting some of the Olympus 12, so that's kind of cool. And then there's Grace Novamon, um, which is the DNA Digivolution of both of those guys, so that's kind of cool. Um, after DNA Digivolution, Grace Novamon can trash eight of your opponent's <laughs> Digivolution cards, then delete one of their Digimon with as many or fewer Digivolution cards. So that's kind of cool. Fortitude. This is something I, I really like. This new Fortitude keyword effect is here. Uh, if you have a, a Digivolution card, you can replay a Digimon without paying the cost, even if it's deleted. So when this Digimon uh, with a Digimon cost is deleted, uh, play this card without paying the cost. These are replay Fortitude cards. So that's kind of cool. And uh, it looks like a lot of Leomon stuff has Fortitude. So that's kind of cool. Marukimon. And he's one of the Olympus 12 too, um, for like I'm assuming for Mercury. Um, yeah, so it's love well, that's the Olympus 12, which is Greek, but they're all the Roman god names. So that's kind of <laughs> Digimon doesn't know history or myth or mythological lore. But yeah, um, Fortitude is really cool. I think that's gonna be a cool, really cool thing. I think this set has the. I want to say that I thought this set has the support for um, 
Leopardmon, which I was interested in because I'm I, I love playing green decks that aren't insects or plants. I'm I lo you know what you know don't get me wrong I loved um, Grand Kuagamon, you know Digiburst, yeah you know Pierce and uh, Security Attack Plus you know for game like shenanigans. I loved that deck and I really liked uh, Bloom Lordmon and all the Rosemon stuff with with just all the combo wombo stuff with all the um vegetation stuff but it just seems like there's never any good green decks except insects and vegetation which is you know izzy mimi kind of makes sense they're the main digi destins that use green cards so it kind of makes sense that they kind of like <laughs> limited it to their digimon types but i do like beast digimon types uh leomon i can't wait to see a really good leomon deck i would play that in a heartbeat um and same with uh same with like other things like Diabermon. I really like playing Diabermon, so I'm really excited. If 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 I'm right and the Leopardmon stuff is, I'm probably gonna do Leopardmon because I'm not really doing a green deck for BT14. I'm still playing Diabermon. I have no interest in playing anything else right at this point. So we'll see. Um, and of course, you got different decks. You got the Four Sovereigns. Garurumon's getting a new X Anibody line, purple blue, which is really really cool. Uh, Leomon, Leviamon. We're finally getting a uh, the Leviamon is the uh, the seven demon lords card for Envy, because Levi and Levi always ends up being Envy. Um, Leviathan, so Leviathan is always the Envy um, demon lord, so of the seven deadly sins. So we're finally getting that one, which I believe leaves us with one more. I think we're still one sh short for one last um, uh, seven demon lord card. And the Horse, the Great uh, Grace Nova Mon deck. Um, you're getting some rare low, you know, altar low pull rates. You're getting an alternate because this is one of the other secret. Uh, no, this, this is a super. Sorry, this is a super in this set. Um, there's gonna be a low pull rate of Metal Guru Mon X Anybody, the new purple blue one. So that's gonna be the old style, you know, text box from the old game, but it's gonna be a low pull rate, so you're not gonna get many of them. Um, and then they're doing another low pull rate uh, English exclusive. I don't know how I feel about the English exclusives, uh, honestly, with the low pull rate stuff. I, you know, if they were regular pull rate for them, I think I'd be a lot more happier because then they'd be a lot more accessible. Like right now, people are going nuts over the BT13 stuff, which really sucks because I managed to get two English Zudamons. For like 30 bucks which is nothing and now they're like oh they're 100 bucks i'm like well i bought it for 30 so it's it's honestly worth 30 at re at pre-release like you just because yeah it's just it's just silly because people you know want to make some money so yeah um i don't really care for the low pull rate cards i think that kind of shits on the game because then it's like oh do i sell this for the highest bidder or do i want to pick up a play set and if you pick up a playset, I'm going to be spending lots and lots of money, and it's just silly. So I'm not really into the low pull rate stuff. I wish, like, you know what, fine, you can have your ghost rares, like, fine, have those cards. But if you're going to do, like, a bunch of this stuff, like, just make it a little bit easier to pull. I mean, all, you already get, like, like one to two alternates a box, three maybe in an EX set. It's kind of like, well, then maybe just make them the same, because honestly... <laughs> It's not that much. Uh, we also have a uh, box promotion packs. Um, you know, box promotion packs included when purchasing the box. So we get another box topper baby set. So you can get hollow babies. That's kind of cool. Um, and then you also get a limited card set version two, which I believe these are all promo cards, new promo cards. Edamon, Cedramon, Zubamon, Kuagamon. It'd be nice to have an, another cool Agamon that m maybe isn't garbage. <laughs> uh, Raremon. I haven't seen Raremon in a while. Uh, another Skull Greymon. They like that to pull that card out every you know, couple months. Um, and then they're also doing the third anniversary update pack, which is also, I think, promos. Um, another Dracomon. That's good. Uh, Pause Plugin P, the yellow plugin. We finally get that. Prism uh, Garrett. Garrett. Garrett, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't care enough to pronounce it. Uh, another Destromon, so you know, for those Galactomon players and Sabertramon. So you're gonna get one card per pack. So you're gonna, you know, depending on if you get a case, you'll get like maybe two play sets of 
of of each and then you have to pick up the rest if you're looking for some of these cards so yeah yeah pretty good i mean it's going to be a busy set uh that's for sure as an ex set so we will go further into this and stuff like that i just wanted to talk about the basics of it which is kind of this um article lays out um but you can go to the ocg site and look up the um, card list which we will do in another video and just kind of go through the things that we're really interested about but I just wanted to get th to this right away because it's new and it's interesting and yeah we'll see what happens so Animal Coliseum January 19th are you guys interested do you think this is going to be a worthwhile set do you think it's just going to be something you can just ignore while you wait for BT15 to set in and we get all the rest of our Digidescent stuff Probably a lot more low pull rate cards because, you know, if they did it the one set, they're probably doing it the other set. But we'll see what happens. Um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you're excited for. I got a tournament to go to, uh, Ultimate Cup today. So we will see you in another video. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. And as always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.